Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and today let's talk about books set over just one day. So I have 10 books to tell you about today, which all take place over just one day, all take place within 24 hours. I really love books that take place in just one day. I think it's a really fun device that can work really effectively. Um, and I really love all of these books a lot. So some of these books, the entire action takes place over 24 hours, and some of them have multiple timelines, one of which take place over 24 hours. But they're all really great books and they're all worth a read. Got a mix of classics and contemporary for you, so let's start off with the classics. So one book I wanted to mention is The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, published in 1843, which if you think about it, takes place over less than 24 hours. Um, we meet Scrooge on Christmas Eve, um, and then we follow him through various ghostly adventures during the night on Christmas Eve, and then he wakes up on Christmas morning. Um, so the whole book takes place over 24 hours, and it is all about Scrooge learning to be a better person through the ghosts that visit him. It's a wonderful, fun, Christmassy classic. Um, I really, really like it, and yeah, just a great read, and a really fun book that takes place in a short space of time. I of course have to mention Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, which was published in 1925. This book takes place over one day in the life of a woman called Clarissa, um, who is preparing for a party. And we also kind of follow various characters that she passes by and meets along her way, begins with her walking around London and kind of everything goes on from there. It's really a book in many ways about kind of the aftermath of the First World War. It's a really fantastic book and the kind of intense scrutiny of all the characters' thoughts over just one day works really well. I recently read and enjoyed this novella, Cheerful Wedding for the Weather by Julia Scratchy. This is a book from 1932, which takes place um, on the day of the main character's wedding and is kind of following the run up to the wedding in the morning. We look at her eccentric family getting ready around her as she begins to wonder whether she is really making the right decision. It's a really interesting book. Um, one of those books I'm still kind of like puzzling out my thoughts over, but it's set in a very short space of time um, and you get to know all these characters very well in this kind of significant moment and it works really well. I also wanted to mention Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson from 1938, which is a novel I really enjoy. Um, I read this book a few years ago, and it's all about a woman called Miss Pettigrew, who is a governess. She's lived a kind of dull, drab life, um, in her own opinion, as well as the opinion of those around her. And one day, the registry office where she goes to get a new job sends her to the wrong job, and she ends up meeting this very glamorous young woman. And this kind of fashionable young woman sort of takes Miss Pettigrew under her wing um, and decides to help her live for a day. And it's a really fun book set over just one day as Miss Pettigrew's life changes. It's a really kind of like heartwarming story um, and definitely one I'd recommend. The next book I wanted to mention is a Russian classic from 1962 and that is One Day in the Life of Ivan Denitsevich by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. This book is set in a Russian gulag and follows one of the prisoners over just one day. It's been a really really long time since I read this book but I remember finding it really historically interesting and really profound when I read it as a teenager and um, when I was studying Russian history at the time. I found and it's so interesting um, and it is a fantastic book just giving you a snapshot of one person's life. It's really really well worth a read. Moving into the 21st century, I wanted to mention If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things by John McGregor, one of my favourite books of all time. This book um, takes place over two timelines, one of which takes place in just one day, um, and one of which takes place um, several years in the future. And in the timeline that takes place over just one day, we're following the residents of one street in the lead up to something terrible. We know later from the future timeline that something terrible has happened, but we don't know what. Um, and in the timeline that takes place over just one day, we're just following the actions and the daily lives of all the individuals that live on this street. I really love John McGregor's writing and um, this book is so beautiful and profound and I feel like just the way he captures the remarkableness of the unremarkable lives of um, the people living on this street over just the course of one day is just wonderful. I love this book so much and I highly recommend it, especially if you like books set over just one day. The final four are all pretty recent books. I wanted to mention Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, a novel I love. So this novel takes place over the course of 24 hours um, in the lead up to and um, during and in the aftermath of a massive party that um, these four siblings are throwing. These four siblings are the grown up children of a celebrity um, who hasn't been around much in their life um, and who was a pretty bad father. The first half of the novel takes place between seven in the morning and seven in the evening of the day of the party um, with alternating chapters flashing back to um, their past and their childhood. And then the second half of the book takes place between seven in the evening and seven the next morning um, and follows the party and its aftermath um, and rather than having flashbacks every other chapter every other chapter we have like 
what is almost like a vignette or a short story about a different character at the party apart from the main ones. I just love this book so much and I feel like the structure of it and the intensity of it because of the structure is just fantastic. It's such a good book and I really, really, really recommend it. The structure is wonderful and it's just, yeah, such a fantastic read. One book I really enjoyed last year was Assembly by Natasha Brown. This is a proof copy. I'll put the actual cover up here. I'm pretty sure this is set over 24 hours. It might be set over 48, um, but it's definitely set over a very short space of time um, and our narrator is a young unnamed black British woman who is preparing for a weekend away with her boyfriend's very wealthy white family. Meanwhile she is frustrated with her job, struggling with medical issues. We're basically following her during her day at work and then on her way to um, her boyfriend's family home thinking about her life. This is a fantastic book and it's very very intense um, especially for so short a book and I feel like the very short time span that is set over helps with the intensity in such a powerful way and makes this a really interesting internal book. So definitely one I'd recommend. The next book I wanted to mention is Ahead of the Shadows by A.B. Charze. This again is one with multiple timelines, um, but the kind of contemporary timeline takes place over um, 24 hours, maybe just over. In June 2022, we're following a young man called Bene who is in Paris for just one night. Um, between planes. He's on his way to visit his father who he's never met while his mother um, is in London looking after a friend. And then in other timelines we flash back to the past um, many many years before um, and look at how Benny's parents met and why they ultimately parted. Um, the contemporary timeline all takes place over sort of about 24 hours um, and it's really really intense and wonderful and I feel like the very ending of this book um, after that kind of like turn of the 24 hours is just so perfect and really well realized and emotional. It's such a great book and one of highly recommend. Finally, I have one 2023 release I wanted to mention today, which was partly my inspiration for this whole video. Um, and that is Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. This is a proof copy. The final cover will be up here. Um, and this came out in January 2023 and is a fantastic book. This again has multiple timelines, but the contemporary present day timeline takes place over just a few hours. We're following Grace Adams. She's in her 40s. Her 16 year old daughter won't speak to her. Her husband and her are separating and she is stuck in a traffic jam on a really hot day and she decides she's had enough so she gets out of the car just abandons it in the middle of the traffic jam and decides that she's going to walk across London to try and see her daughter and everything kind of goes on from there and in the present day timeline we're just following Grace Adams walking across London in the heat and then we also get flashbacks to sort of long ago in her past how her and her husband met um, and sort of the last couple of years and what happened um, that has got to the point where her daughter won't speak to her it's just a really fantastic book in so many ways and I feel like the intensity of the few hot hours we are following Grace through London um, as she kind of has a meltdown but also wants to like take everything back like it's almost like a really empowering meltdown um it's fantastic and i just highly highly recommend it and i feel like the fact that the contemporary strand takes place over just a few hours like adds to the intensity in such a wonderful way it's fantastic and you really have to read it i highly highly recommend it so there we have it 10 wonderful books that take place over just one day i really like books with this kind of structure so do let me know if you know of any more um i believe a single man by christopher isherwood takes place over just one day that's one i'm really keen to read but if you have any other recommendations do let me know do let me know as well what your favorite book is that takes place over the course of just one day that's all for now thanks so much for watching and i'll be back very soon with another bookish video